What's up everyone, welcome back or welcome to it. It's been a while since I've done this type of video, but in the last one, you probably noticed that my room looks a lot different than it did back then. If you haven't been following me on Instagram, make sure you follow me down below. It'll be in the description at JKX Visuals or up here on the wall. But I posted some stories on there a while ago when I ended up having COVID. I renovated my room the week that I was home, pretty much just doing nothing. I done all my walls, repainted everything put new stuff up there in the frames and just all sorts of stuff, cleaned it up. I ended up getting a new monitor as well. If you guys haven't seen those stories, go check out the highlights on my Instagram. It'll be down in the description as well. But talking about Instagram, for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I post. I've been doing daily posts for a couple months now and I'm gonna continue doing those. I'm gradually getting better and better at the posting side of things and just keeping up to date and keeping consistent and stuff like that so today I'm going to jump on my computer here I'm going to show you guys my workflow how I edit the photos how I send them to my phone stuff like that and what I do to actually post so we're going to jump straight in all right so we're going to jump into it straight away the first thing I do is go to my folder where I keep all my photos I'm going to go to this folder right here there's some night photos that I ended up taking the other night. I went for a quick little walk around, took some night photos. I've already done the edits here in this folder, but I'm going to show you guys anyway what I end up doing. So I've got some pretty good photos here of the neon signs. I've got that one there. Let's go this photo here as well. That's of the street. And we've got this one here too. I think there's one more down here somewhere I could probably do. I think it's this one here, maybe the one next to it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all of those. And what I do, I have a automation set up, but if you guys don't, you can just use your standard photo editor and just export to wherever you keep them. But for me, I'm going to go down to quick actions. I'm going to apply a night 50mm preset because that's on the 50mm lens. The same lens that I'm filming this video on. I love the quality of that. If you guys like it as well, let me know in the comments down below. I'm super keen to make more videos on that. But the photos are done already. They just spit out here on my desktop. They just put the preset on the photo and then spit it straight to my desktop. I'm actually going to crop these to a certain ratio that I like. So I'm going to right click and then go open with Pixelmator Pro. Pixelmator Pro is a photo editor that I use. I recently changed over to this from Lightroom. I had a heap of trouble with Lightroom and the Creative Cloud, stuff like that. So I switched over to the Apple versions. That means I'm also been using Final Cut Pro for the last month or so. But we're here in Pixelmator Pro now, I'm gonna go up to the crop tool, go down to crop. I've got one by 1.911. That's the custom aspect ratio that I use. That's actually the size of A4 photo paper. So this is like the best all around. This is like the best all around ratio you can use in my opinion, because it just works for everything. So I'm going to apply, I'm going to go up here to export, I'm going to go change the profile to sRGB, quality 100%. The file size is pretty big, but that doesn't really matter for Instagram. And then we just go replace. Now I'm going to do this for the rest of the other four. Now this one here, I've just cropped. I'm going to straighten that one up a little bit. And I'm also going to bump up the exposure just a little bit and just play around with the other stuff here. Get that looking all right. It looks pretty noisy. I used a high ISO on this because it was pretty dark. I was using the 50 mil lens here and I had that on F2 or F1.8 or something like that and it was still pretty dark just because the sun had already set and it was pretty much blue hour. And to keep the shutter down low enough because I was shooting handheld, I just had to bump the ISO. Now the last one here, I'm going to export, replace, now I'm going to quit out a Pixelmator Pro, and now I'd go back down to here, I'd create the folder called edits, and then that's where I'd drag all of those, 
but now after I drag them into the edit folder I would pick out the ones I like. I normally do this in batches, I normally do the whole lot at once just to save going back to it. You can see all the ones I've got here, some of the fountain street lights and stuff like that. The car back there, that one looks pretty good. But I'm just going to pick out a random few. Let's go five there. And now what I do is I turn on my phone. If you guys don't use iPhone or you just use Mac and an Android for example, you can also share those through an email or Bluetooth file exchange or something like that. That all works the same, just try and do what uses the best quality. Now that's just sent. Once that's sent, they're now over on my phone. So, now I'm going to quickly jump to a screen recording on my phone and show you guys what I do next. Alright, so I'm over here on my phone now. So I've got the five photos here. I've just added those into an album, just so you guys can't see my camera roll for privacy reasons and stuff like that. And it's also a pretty good idea to keep them in albums anyway. But, we've got the five photos here. What I normally do next is I use an app called Feed Preview. I go onto here, here's a little sneak peek of all my Instagram posts coming up as well. But, what I do is I press the plus button up here and I pick photos. You can drag them around like that. Style them out how you like them for Instagram, what you want your feed to look like. But I already have the photos picked out already. So I'm gonna clear that off. I think I'm gonna want this one here to be the front photo, like the first photo on the post, cause I'm gonna post the five photos at once. So what I do next is try and find some hashtags. If it's a different sort of post, I'd have to go and look for the hashtags, but most of the photos I post from different series are pretty much the same. So I have a screenshot here from another post and what you can do is you can use the live text feature and you can go through and highlight them like that. Then you press copy and what you want to do next is just think of a caption or whatever you want to say in the caption. I'd head over to Instagram Go to my profile here, I'd go up to posts, go like that. I want that one to go first, so I'm going to pick that one out. Because of the crop ratio, you can actually slide that up and down a little bit. I normally just centre it, but I'm going to pick out the five photos here in the order that I'd like them. I'm going to go next, next again, write out the caption here. I go down like that. Throw a couple dots in, just space it down a little bit. And now down here, I post the hashtags. You just copy and paste them in like that and press OK. Tag a location, anything like that. I post it on Facebook as well. If you don't follow me on Facebook, that will also be down in the description below. But that's just about all there is to it. Now, of course, there's all different ways I post. I do befores and afters and carousels and stuff like that. So if you want to see a video on that, let me know down in the comments down below also, because I'll be sure to make something like that if you guys want to see that. It's definitely an interesting topic. There's lots of videos out there on Instagram stuff, but if you guys want to check out the way that I do it, let me know. I'm not actually going to post these photos. I've already done a post today, but I'm going to be scheduling posts like these for sometime next week or something like that with the feed preview app that I use. There was a little sneak peek of that before but that's just the app that I use to schedule all my posts and figure out what I want my grid to look like all that sort of stuff. I've already got photos scheduled for tomorrow so if you're keen to see that make sure you follow me on Instagram at jakexvisuals. But that's just about going to do it for today's video. If you liked it, leave a like down below. If you have any other video ideas, let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on post notifications and I'll see you in the next one.